Hello, people and more people. Is that a song lyric? <clears throat> Back for a final update. It's been a minute since I've done one, so I thought I would uh, squeeze one in here at the end of the week. Um, <clears throat> some things I want to show here that have uh, been accumulating, of course. Uh, this book called The Beatles Lyrics. I thought this was sort of unusual because um, it has a lot of handwritten lyrics in here. It goes through all the songs and it tells, you know, pretty much everything about the songs. Um, but it has, has like all the printed out and handwritten lyrics. I thought that was really unusual just because I'd never seen it before. So there's a bunch of them there. But it, they're all through the book. These are just the the middle, you know, in the middle of books. They have like a little bit of a little glossier things. But it's uh, I bought this at Half Price Books. They had uh, they had quite a few of these here or there, and um, it wasn't much. It didn't cost much, so it was definitely worth picking up. <clears throat> Show you some forty fives I got here too. Um, I don't think I. I think I did get these at half price. Uh, Steelers wheels with stuck in the middle, stuck in the middle with you and Jose on the other side. Uh, it's in a Casablanca sleeve, but of course that's not on Casablanca. It's on A and M. Uh, and then this one, uh, I guess it's a beautiful day. At least I think it is. Is the name and One Ten Soldier. It's by Coven, a band that I really like. Um, supposedly the first quote unquote satanic band <clears throat> and uh, this one here the marathons uh, talking trash and peanut butter thought that was a cool find because <clears throat> I think later on I think um, Devo redid peanut butter uh, and then this one here I'll take this one out of the sleeve this one has has the original sleeve with it. Let me put it back in here so you can see what it looks like. It's got the original Apple sleeve. It's um, Hare Krishna Mantra, uh, Radha Krishna Temple on from London on one side, and the other side a prayer to the spiritual masters. So there's the one side, and there's the other. That was a really cool find. They had quite a few Apple 45s. This one I thought was the weirdest one. Um, and I don't remember how much I paid for this. Oh, right here's the price. It was $3, which is obviously more than fair for an Apple, even with the original sleeve. I mean, it's in decent shape. I mean, it's playable. It's dusty. It needs cleaned. But... And I didn't pick up the other ones because I think they cost... Quite a bit more than that one did, <clears throat> if I remember right. On to the 12-inch. Um, uh, Louis Prima and Keely Smith. It says Louis Prima digs Keely, Keely Smith. Uh, I was just listening to him in the car today. A song called Beep Beep, which it's not on this one. but This one has uh, <clears throat> D Banana, Robin Hood, Zuma Zuma Bacala. Uh, good, but goody, good, goody, goody. First time I heard Louis Prima and didn't know it was Louis Prima was uh, David Lee Roth covering Just a Gigolo in the 80s. Uh, San Juan, Destination San Juan by Tito Puente and his orchestra. Big old 99 cents sticker there on it. So you obviously know where I got that one at. And, uh, Cavalier Records. I don't have a lot of Tino Puente, but because you don't see much, or at least I haven't seen much on vinyl. The Best of Love and Spoonful. And I think I have another version of this that came in with two albums, and this one was supposed to come with two albums, but it only has the one on Kama Sutra. So, I'm going to dig out my other ones and between the 
couple copies that I have, I might have both records. Because I think the other one, I want to say, is they broke these up in Volume 1 and Volume 2. In addition to having it like, you know, the gatefold like this one is. I mean, I could be wrong about that, but I think that's what happened. Or I think that's how they rele re released it and then re-released it. You know, of course, this has, I don't know which record is in there, but it has Daydream, Do You Believe in Magic. Uh, do You Ever Have to Make Up Your Mind, Summer in the City. Uh, An Evening with John Denver. This is a live record, and I don't think that I had this one before. Uh, starts off with The Music Is You. This is a double album. Both records are actually in here. Uh, the Music Is You is a little short song that was on one of John Denver's albums originally. And uh, did I show the gatefold? And um, Greta Van Fleet does that album in concert. And so, of course, I was trying to remember if I had the album, and I looked up the album, and then I found the live one. So, probably have the studio around here somewhere. The Waikiki Surf Riders. This one's. Uh, I guess popular favorites is what it says on the back here. Some good Hawaiian music. It says from Ray and Sandy, 1999. That's funny. They were giving out records as presents in 1999. <laughs> Someone was. Um, this one is the Monks of St. Minrod Arch Abbey, Arch, Arch, Arch Abbey, songs like Incense. And of course, the title alone is the reason that I picked it up, but I like, you know, chants. And I'm assuming that's what this is. Uh, so yeah, there's the... I guess that's where they're chanting. Or they want you to think that's where it is. St. Minrod says uh, that's in Indiana, which is sort of strange. There's the, I don't know, I guess that's the group. So it's obviously not, it says the monks, but I can't imagine that that's actually monks. They don't look like any monks I've seen. Not that I, you know, run into monks at Walmart or anything, but. If I did, I'm sure I would recognize them. This was a really cool find. Omar Khayyam soundtrack. Um, I was aware of this movie because Emma Sumac is in this movie. Um, and I don't know how many other movies she done, but I not many, I would think. This is on Decca. And uh, I'd never seen this before, and it's like, oh my God, there's that movie soundtrack. And... Um, Let's see, Robert Wagner's in this too. I don't even know if it mentions Emma Sumac on the back here. But she does a singing part in the movie. I have the movie on VHS. I ordered it um, a long time ago when uh, Suncoast Music just had um, VHS, I guess. I don't remember if they had DVDs at that point. I don't think they, I don't think they did. Um, so I'd ordered it on VHS, which I still have that. I'd like to probably get it on DVD or Blu-ray if it's if it is but it, I don't think it mentions her on here at all at least I don't see but anyway after I found this I think I've seen it three times after that but it, you know that always happens uh, Boney M with Night Flight to Venus I think this might be my first maybe my second Boney M record because their stuff just doesn't show up either at least not in my neck of the woods, it doesn't. And this is a weird band, I think. Their music's great, though. It's really like sort of disco funk dance type music. It's on Atlantic. And uh, let's see some of the song titles here. Uh, Night Flight to Venus, of course, the title track. He Was a Steppenwolf, King of the Road by Roger Miller. I, I can't imagine how great that is. Uh, Voodoo Night, Heart of Gold by Neil Young. That ought to be great, too. This came out in 1978. 
Uh, and then I got this single here, Boys Don't Cry, I Want to Be a Cowboy. Uh, on one side is the instrumental saloon mix, and the other side is the 12-inch saddle mix. And um, I knew this song from MTV, of course, back in the 80s. Uh, they, they had a hit with this song, uh, 1985. And Lemmy Kilmister was in the video. He played a an outlaw cowboy, which is pretty much what he was. Um, Sabra sings Yiddish. Romania, Romania, Romania. I don't know how many Yiddish records I have. I'm sure I have more than this one, but nothing comes to mind. But that's that's just my mind not working. From Columbia. Uh, it has like the Yiddish title, and then it'll have like the song. Like this one says whatever that says, and it says cigarettes in parentheses. So. Uh, the Partridge Family Sound Magazine. I bought this one just because it's sort of, I don't know if you can see that in the light, or in the dark, rather. But they've um, wrote on it and drew on it, blackened their teeth out and stuff. And I always like these kind of records when I know that's defacing the record, and I already have this record, of course. I've probably a lot better copy than this one. This was a cutout. It has the cutout hole there. Um... And, you know, they colored this side purple, and they colored this side sort of orangish-red. But I buy these records because I feel like that I'm saving them, as dumb as that sounds. Um, but this has, I woke up this morning. I don't think this one has, uh, let's see, Echo Valley's on here. Um, they've really marked this all up back here. It, it, it asked, asked David Cassidy and Shirley, it asked their favorite colors and drinks and desserts and stuff. And these people, whoever it is, probably a kid, has marked it out and wrote their favorite, uh, put their answers. Like um, David Cassidy's favorite color says depends on the mood, and then they've marked that out and put black. It says uh, miscellaneous. He says mountains, good films, and food. And they say looking at bathrooms. So, okay. That's great. Record rescue there. And the last one I got here, a very dusty, musty record. This is the John Martins Singing for Jesus cornerstone there at the bottom. I don't know what that's the place it was made or what. But that's a great cover. I love them pictures where they're looking off into the distance and sometimes they have a, a opposite faded into the that one doesn't, but a lot of them do. There they are carrying their holding their baby. This is on Rainbow Records, I think. Yes. With a big looks like a cat hair. Um, probably from the seventies. Uh, the John Martins on Rainbow. Some crazy stuff I had to get. Uh, nothing out, out of the ordinary as far as song titles. This was from Dallas, Texas. Back in, assuming that's the late 60s, early 70s. That's all I have in this vinyl update. Uh, thanks for watching. And so on and so forth. Uh, thanks for subscribing, and please subscribe if you're not currently a subscriber. And we'll see you in the next Vinyl Update.